Hey folks, looks like we've got a test coming up on Unit 3, so this is a two-parter here. So um, these are kind of questions that you will be seeing or something similar. So so this is a IM2 uh, uh, review So uh, on modules 6 and 7. So use the graph to answer each of these questions right here. What is the axis of symmetry? The axis of symmetry is an X answer, so it's X equals this right here, X equals 1. Okay, it's that line that you can fold it right in half. What is the vertex? Well, that's easy enough. It's right there, so it's uh, over 1, down 3. Okay, so... And then what are the zeros? The zeros are where it crosses the x-axis. This is where y equals zero right here. So this quadratic equation is y equals something x squared with some whatever. Um, anyway, so the zeros are right here. So it looks like about, I don't know, you have to estimate right here about about negative uh, 0 0.7. And this is looks like about a positive 2.7 right there, something like that. So write an equation in vertex form. Okay, so vertex form is um, uh, with the HK action right there. And HK is, is this, HK, okay? So it's going to be um, uh, the X minus uh, this 1 squared uh, minus 3 right here. Okay, and then uh, what is A? Well, A is 1 because when we go over 1, it goes up 1. When we go over 2, it goes up 4 right there. If we go over 3, 1, 2, 3, it goes up 9 right there. Okay, so it's just 1. So, so Y equals uh, X minus 1 squared minus 3. And then to put that in standard form, we have to FOIL out X minus 1, X minus 1 right there. Okay, so I did that here in red, and then um, and then we got to combine the plus one and the minus three right there, and that's going to give us minus two. Okay, so uh, given the quadratic um, uh, function, uh, uh, that guy does the function have a max or a min? Okay, well this uh, quadratic opens down, so since it opens down, it has a maximum spot up there. Okay, and what's the value of the max or min? Okay, so the value is um, it's a y answer, and it's the y coordinate of your vertex. So uh, the vertex is at h k, so five seven. So y equals 7 is that max value right there. All right, so let's graph these guys. Okay, so this one here, um, uh, this one's in the form of y equals, uh, well, there's no bx in there, so we know that x equals uh, 0 for our vertex. So it's somewhere on this on this y-axis right here. Where on the y-axis? It's right there at that plus 5 right there, okay? So, um, and this is going down, so it's going down 1 half of 1 squared, 1 half of 2 squared, 1 half of 3 squared squared and so on and so I did that and then just trace your parabola out right there okay whoops I forgot to erase that when I was covering this in class so let me get rid of that right there that way I can save it I knew I had some extras on here all right let me get rid of this one also here I'm that's kind of cheating right there so there's the vertex right there the vertex is at uh, member opposite opposite same so it's at negative three negative six right there so there it is right there this guy is opening up because that's positive so it opens up two times one squared two times two squared and so on and so on right there okay so when we go over one it goes up two when we go over two it goes up eight over three i don't have enough room but it would go up 18 and then 32 and then and then 50 so we square how much we go over and then multiply it by two because of that two right there okay so i'll do these guys right here over one up two over two up eight so over two up eight okay and then there's our groovy looking parabola right there Okay, all right, so let's graph the line y equals 3 and the quadratic function, uh, this guy right here, to solve this. Okay, so we did this a few, about a week ago. Um, uh, when we set this equal to 0, we added 3 to both sides, and so that's what they're doing. Um, instead of graphing this and finding out where it intersects 0, another way was to add 3 to both sides, and you get y equals 3. So that's a horizontal line right there, y equals 3 right there. Okay, and we'll graph this guy in blue. So x equals opposite b over 2a. So um, uh, opposite b is um, uh, negative negative 4, which is a positive 4, over 2 times this a right here. So 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. So we get negative 2 right there, okay? So when we plug that in, um, there's the vertex right there. 
uh, and this is going down. So as we go over one, it goes down one squared, over two, down two squared, over three, down three squared, and so on. So there's our there's our dots for our our um, parabola. And then um, uh, we're interested, where does the red line and the blue parabola intersect? They intersect right there, okay? And so these are an X answer because we're answering this in terms of X right here. So X equals negative 3 and negative 1. I think I still have a mistake. Yeah, this should be X equals negative 3. And thank you, Grace, for helping me with that. And, uh, Grace is a student that helps me correct my errors because I make lots of them. All right, so now we're going to use the table to write the quadratic function in vertex form if the vertex is at negative 1, negative 4. Okay, here's HK. So vertex form, we can go ahead and plug that in right there. We just need to figure out A. Okay, so we do X minus a minus 1 squared and then minus 4. All right, and then to figure out A, we can substitute any one of these pairs in for X or Y. I'm going to choose this pair because that one looks a little bit more friendly. So negative 7 goes here for Y, and then the 0 goes here for X, and we just solve for A. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. And so 0 plus 1 is, is 1, so 1 squared is, is 1, so we get a 1A right there. And then so we're going to go ahead and add 4 to both sides, and we get... Uh, a equals negative 3. So we just plug that back up in right there, and then there's our answer right there, okay? All right, so a quadratic function can be written in the form. This is called intercept form. We'll discuss in module 8 right here. So where A and B are the zeros of the function, okay? So write a f of x in standard form, which is ax squared plus bx plus c, when the zeros are, here's A, and then here's B right here, and then plugging in uh, uh, k equals negative 3. So this is just a substitute in right there. So now we're going to go ahead and FOIL that out. So when we FOIL that out, we get uh, that. So we're going to plug that back up in, and then we'll distribute that negative 3 through. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that, and there's our final answer. All right, you guys, uh, there'll be a part two shortly. Take care. I hope you do well on your test.